What is up, YouTube? It is Brad and Travis with Home Slice Disc Golf, and we are doing some commentary for the Disc Golf Examiner coverage of PFDO 2017. Who we, we following? We have some good golfers today. We have the chase card of the final round, and that is Chris Dickerson with Prodigy, Richard Wysocki, Lat 64, Charlie Good Pasture with Legacy, and then the Simon Lazat from Discmania. All right, let's get to some disc golf. It was no rain. It was cloudy cool. at times, which made it a little cooler. It was great. The golfers, I think, enjoyed it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, hole one. So you're going to see uh, we've got the drone coverage coming up. Um, just a, uh, it's, it's kind of an open hole. You've got those trees off to the left. Um, basket is tucked back. It's tight. Yeah. Uh, tucked back in the woods there. Um, from what I saw, there weren't as many, many yeah, there weren't as many birdies as what I think we would have expected. Um, looks like he's lining up a roller to start. Which we saw a couple of those this weekend. Usually people are just throwing a, a flippy fairway or mid-range, depending on their arm speed, and just getting it down there. He lays one down. Hit a little cabbage early. Oh! Ended up sneaking oh. through. He should have a long look there. This man has two eagles this weekend. Hole number six, hole Who number is 18. up next? You know him. Simon Lazat. Ooh, Simon. <laughs> We got to meet him at this tournament, and he is such a great dude to talk to. Very down to earth. I believe he's ripping a mid range, but not many people get there with a midi. Well, Heiser flip. Turning something over there, and he should have. He, should the, he might have a tree in his way, yeah. I believe. I think he's right on the edge of the circle there. And Ricky, what's he throwing here? Socky bomb. I don't know what that is. Like a felon, maybe? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to be a felon. Also, a line. Obviously, it ends to the right. So, if you're forehand, backhand, or your forehand, right hand, forehand, it's going to end right for you. Uh, a little low. Get a little skip. Oh, yeah. Oh. Big skip there. <laughs> Whoa. I like this second, second cam. I like I'm the second it. camera action <laughs> with the disc golf examiner crew. Good pasture. Off. First round shot a hot, hot round of 13 down. I think it was 1060 rated golf at least. Also got to talk to him a bit. Really cool dude. Um, shout out to him. Yeah, he was one of those, uh, what the dark horse or yes. whatever you want to call him for the first round. Nobody really saw that coming. Very smooth throw. That's what we saw most of the the tournament off the on hole one was yep. just a kind of turnover. Yeah, we got we were there for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we didn't get to see any of the action Monday uh, or uh, Friday. Oh. Oh, nice run there. Yeah, so Simon's a little further than we thought. It's a tester. Uh, oh, 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 no change. <laughs> All right, we've got Chris up. Looks to be I can't I can't see the circle. I don't know where it's at. 30, 35 foot probably. Yeah, it looks like he's right on the edge actually. Oh. Yep. I've watched some footage of this dude and he can throw putt. He's just he's got an all-around really good game. Ricky. We Ricky know the inside Ricky. the circle. The chains did not treat him well this weekend, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he had a couple spit outs. Oh. Oh. The rare. Unusual. Uh, yeah, the rare <laughs> inside the circle miss for Ricky. I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, that's a that's a rare one for him. Okay, so uh Dickerson and Lazat took twos there. Wysocki and Good Pasture with the threes took the, took the par. Uh, this next hole, uh, a little bit longer. Um, 
uphill. Yeah, uphill. The, the pros all played this way better than than we do. That's for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the, the gap the they made. Why they're pros and yeah, we are not. They made that gap look a lot bigger. Um, and it it's an interesting hole. You got that. Is that uphill. OB crossing? Uh, yes, I believe so, so. They could obviously attack the screen, but I believe they kind of play this layup play. Yeah. Right short of the OB, you can kind of see where the ravine goes down because of just hitting a tree and going OB. It's not worth it. Yeah, that seems to be where most of them mm-hmm. are wanting to land. Just right They're short of They're playing for an that. easy three. Yep. Yeah, and this is a par four, so. Get their birdie three. Simon pipes. Ooh. I don't even know what that was. FD maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see it. There it is. I mean, the, the, yeah, seriously, guys, this is... That's a tough shot. Yeah. Yeah. For me. <laughs> oh, get through. Oh, fight. Uh, he got stopped early. That'll... Charlie wasn't too pumped about it, but I believe he can get out of that. Yeah, he should He should definitely be able to save par here. Um, that... Or maybe Bird. Play that skip. Go ahead. Get in. Wow. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Really <laughs> good shot there. Yep. That's a tough out. We followed Chris a good bit this weekend, and he throws, I don't know what disc this is, a lot, and he's lethal with it. <laughs> like, anytime I've seen him pull out this bright green, I don't know if it's a midi or putter, but he just, look at it, underneath the pin. Simon, just a jump putt. Oh, oh, a little run there for a two. We got Mr. Wysocki. Awkward stance uphill. Jeez, I'm going <laughs> to drop it in. Their putting's outrageous. Get that three. This would be big after that drive. Oh, Ooh. weird release. Yeah, something was up. It's all right, though. Pick it up a four. Simon... Getting that easy three. I'm happy if I four it. That was the <laughs> easiest three I've ever seen. So what do we have? We got three threes and a four here. Yeah. Just placing it in. On to hole three. Uh, par three, you've got the OB in front of the basket. Um, this basket stayed in the same spot for... Um, for all three rounds it's in that back right corner in mm-hmm. that b pin midi um, putter shot for them yeah just hope they don't get a weird cut roll into the ob if they do they have a inside the circle putt out of the ob for par but typically they're they're deuce in this hole a good bit yeah there's a little bit of guardian trees as you can see but they're usually squeaking it by yeah yeah i think most of them were throwing something off to the right there uh, mm-hmm. a little bit of like a flex line um See, I yeah, saw that a couple of times. He kind of forced over a little bit stable of a disc and mm-hmm. like let it hook in. That was a nice shot there. I believe say I see Simon forces one over. I don't know what that is, but it it's a great looking flight. Nice and straight. Pure. Yep. Yep. That'll get yourself a deuce there. Mr. Wysocki. Oh, yeah. Look up. Mm-hmm. Nice shot, Charlie. I am nice liking shot. the second nice camera shot. angle. Yeah, that should be good enough for a two there. OB's okay. tiny. You can see the little yeah, it's pocket just, there. It's just right in that little, uh, just like a little rock pit great almost. Putt. Great putt there. That was probably 40 feet. It was up in the air for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't look confident. No, Didn't no. After look... that, that first yeah. putt, maybe. Yeah, the Little awkward straddle. stance. Yep. Into bramble bush, whatever that is back there. Charlie yeah. with the tapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little dunk. Sam dunk. Yeah. <laughs> Little dunk putt there. Are dipping? And star birdie. What are yeah. they called? 
Star frame? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. <laughs> Par four. This is a toughie. Uphill, lots of trees. We've seen rollers, flex shots, forehands. You'll see a lot. The different pin positions, they make a decent bit of difference on the hole. Yeah, this is a tough one to get up there just because it's such a low ceiling. Um, so You're happy to land right there. Yeah, there. I mean, you saw we saw a couple mm. drives that got way up there, but um, there weren't, there wasn't anything that was super surprising on this hole. I flex out, force one over a little bit too yeah. much, but I'll get his four. It's an awkward uphill drive. It, it is really, really challenging to get up there. Flex out. That's it. Get clean. Ah, it's good though. Yeah, that's it. That'll give him. That'll give him mm -hmm. a look. A look to get There's his There's Brad. Burn. Yeah. Yeah, we were following this card. We were bouncing Skip. between this and lead Ooh. that day. That's also kind of a play. Is if you do aim, get a little low. It skips off that hard packed dirt. Wow, he kind of he's in some stuff. And there's that bright putter. Oh, did he just pure it? Did he just pure it? Oh, what? He's going <laughs> to three it? Wow. I'm telling that was, you. That was a good out there, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great shot. Simon with a flick. Hey, there Skip we are. in there. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Should be able to make that putt. Yeah, that should, that should give him his three. Charlie with a wow. Three great shots so far. Well executed and the forehand specialist with I'm guessing a harp. He is lethal with it. Another one. <laughs> I can get closer, Rick, he said. <laughs> if you pick this tree up with that T shot. Great. That, that's just a good recovery. They scramble great too. The pros. Oh yeah. yeah, it's it's so fun watching them play, especially a course that that we get we to play, play a little bit mm -hmm. because you just see these crazy <laughs> shots that you didn't even know were were an option, um, and it it's just super impressive. I was like so proud to shoot three under at this course, and they <laughs> shredded it. They're three under and three. <laughs> and, um, hole five, we've got uh, just a forehand hole. Um, you're just going to play a skip shot with a felon, firebird. It's off into the right. It's, what, three? Yeah, 300 feet. Yeah, it's not a very far hole. No mm -hmm. OB. Guardian um, trees. Yeah. Yeah, you got some guardian trees. Which should, would, people hit them a good bit, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. I mean, most of most of them are, are two in this this mm -hmm. weekend, I would assume. Yes. There's those that, that first tree you just saw in the corner, that's the one I've seen a lot of people hit. Yeah. Other than that, if they get past that, they're hitting that that putt every time. Usually forehand. Yeah, I saw a lot do of that forehands. <laughs> um, and you're going to see one right here. Oh, yeah. Play that skip. Yep. Yeah, he's good. They want a two. This this is this is one you want to get a two on. Yeah, at least playing MPO. Yeah, we. Uh, I almost saw Eagle Eagle almost skip ace this Saturday. He was about a foot and a half off. Oh. Um, we uh just caught a little bit. He'll get his three. Yeah, even with that early mm. at that early tree kick. Um, it's pretty open. Yeah. Yeah, pretty easy to recover from that. Cleaning up their twos. Whoa. Oh, man. Dude, the baskets did <laughs> not treat him bad. I saw a couple kickouts just myself. A couple uh, three twos and a and a three. We Yep, good save there. And On now two. The long mm -hmm. par five, um, and I think today it's in C pin. So you're looking at a 1,026 foot hole. Four digits. 
Um, and it is long. It kind of opens up towards the middle. Um, you'll see in this, uh, in the drone coverage, we went Ooh. over top. And it, see, it opens up Epic. right there, and then you come back down, and it tightens back up. Um, if you get off the fairway at all... It is thick. Most of the time, you would want to just, you know, chip out, yeah. honestly, because you don't want to roll into the other side of the fairway. Chris is going with, I think, an air shot. Yeah, we saw yeah. a lot of rollers. Um, oh, jeez. And I'd say Pured most of it. what we shot... Most of what we saw over the weekend were uh, were rollers. Yeah. Um, you're gonna see something crazy here. Simon this is, crushes this over is the top. The craziest shot of the week. One of them from the weekend. We're way down there. Honestly, that <laughs> there's not many people that can do that. It was a fantastic shot to watch. Yeah, that was. We were way down. We were very close to where he landed, and it was. It was crazy. It was... Uh, oh. Ricky caught some lettuce. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. And not getting off the tee well here. Oh, watch out, people. Woo! <laughs> if you don't get off the tee well on this one, um, you're going to be... You'll In be, some trouble. Yeah. You're struggling for... You're getting your five. Yeah. Or if you just lay down that. <laughs> what the heck? That's the thing. If the fairway is so tight, laying down a roller, you will often roll into the rough. Yeah, the rough is thick enough though that it kind of slows it. down uh, slows down those rollers, which um, which is nice. It still looks like Ricky. I don't know. Is, I think this is Charlie. Yeah. The dope Zuka cart. Yeah, that's a smart it's a play. Little pitch out. Yep. But he, you want to be on the right side if you're a righty because it's just a natural hyzer. Just throw it nice and straight. Get it down that right side. It's just a little tunnel shot, but you can see you can advance down the fairway a good bit. Yeah, he still got he got a good way mm -hmm. down there before he hit a tree, so he'll be in a he'll be in a good spot to at least get his. So what? Five, it's four hundred. That was a six hundred foot shot. He just drove <laughs> four hundred feet from the pin. It's just absurd. Oh. I don't think that was supposed to be a roller. Know. Was it? It worked out, whatever it was. Let's just <laughs> yeah. say it was. I'm yeah. going to say he was probably <laughs> trying to. It was just, uh, I think that was his FD, that actually. Um, I saw him pull that out a few times. That blue, it was a pretty, a really pretty FD. Oh, um, it's so think, tight. Yeah. It is a really tight gap there. But that's the aggressive route. He's probably trying to get his four. Risk reward. Ricky is just crazy with these rollers. He's down there. He'll have a putt. Looks like uh, Charlie's got a a tight gap. He's got to get through <laughs> just there. Just look at it. <clears throat> Ten foot wide at the minimum. Oh, oh. was it little, close or I was, think it short? was it short? Yeah. Oh, he went for the tight gap, and he peered it. What? A little ground play Was there. That his freaking bright putter again. <laughs> uh oh. Circus shot. Oh, ooh. where is it? I have a putt. Uh, yeah, I'll I have a long one there. Yeah. Oh, Rick. Mm -hmm. Looks like Rick. I think he's outside the circle. Yeah, he's what well, he's yep, yep. certainly outside the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Tech perception's <laughs> off a little bit. Good run though from where he was at. Yeah. Simon can make this. And oh. Mm. So after that crazy drive, Simon's gonna end up with the five. Um that's a tough one, but yeah. I mean, you've got to have some good shots. If you have, oh. if you have a bad shot at all, it, you're you're fighting back. Um, you're gonna have to fight for that, for that par. Chris, I believe for par. It's hard to keep track. Good putt. 
And then Ricky clean it up. And his putts are like perfect. Yeah. Too perfect, I think. I don't know. It's yeah, the only way I can tell. Describe Each time it. he lets it go, he's just it looks like he's just waiting for it to spit yeah. out. Damn, so I'm just walking up to a twenty footer, nailing it. And what are the scores? I couldn't keep track. I couldn't. I don't know what they are. So Charlie's the only one to bogey. Everyone, you know, a, a par is par not there. a bad thing. Yeah, if you if you have all good shots, you can definitely end up with that with that bird. But anything off the fairway, and it it ends up getting pretty tough. It's really thick. Um, so this we've got just this. Most of most of the people it's I think are throwing that high uh, over just a stable hyzer, midi yeah. or fairway. It's tricky the the distance and the height and there's these trees right over there that you have to get over. It it's a tricky shot. I'd be curious to see what the birdie rate was on that one. Um, just pure hyzer. I don't I didn't see any lefties throw it. I'm curious what they were doing. But Simon he could probably get it there. <laughs> uh, hook up. Mm, looks like it, you catch trees sometimes like it it is a tricky little entrance to the green looks like that was a little early release i don't know it's a really fun hole to throw i think though. that one that simon threw i think i remember watching that and it was online for the ace and it hit that last tree you're right. oh yeah you're right you're right you're right it gets a little windy up there too, so you gotta, you know, deal with that. Ricky caught something early. He's got a, I don't even know. <laughs> it's in his range. Uh, I don't know how far that is, but good run by Rick. Charlie lining it up. A uh, little high. Just a little bit off. Simon Ooh. could have had the ace. <laughs> could have almost, should have. Almost spit out there. Chris, lethal with the putter. So what do we have? We have two threes and two twos. Two twos, I believe. Charlie's locked yep. in. All right. <clears throat> Hole number eight. What do we got here? This is a... Uh, so this this is another interesting hole. Um, <laughs> you've got kind of... The picture on that, on the sun, it doesn't look as... It's it's, it's more a, of an S. Yeah, it's more it of really an is. S. Um it's a Even difficult from the drone hole. footage, it didn't show, but you really off the tee, right hand, backhand, you're playing a big skip to get you kind of into the belly of the fairway, and then it's just a straight shot to the basket. I'm, I'm sure that's what Chris is doing. Yeah, you don't want to carry far. They're just, they're, look at, I mean, just stable. Oh, <laughs> that's just terrible luck. Simon. And Simon's going to do something uh, I've never seen. Yeah, he's going to go over the top again because he has a cannon. It's definitely tough to track this. Ends up falling right in the belly. Like yeah. a little bit to the left of the fairway. But it's it's a good spot. Rick's going with that just hyzer, but he... I don't no, know that's gonna end up, Yeah, that's going to end up all right. Oh, yeah. just it got a little in. A little deep, yeah. Charlie. Oh yeah, hook up. One thing you'll notice is the pros get mad even when they throw good shots, man. They <laughs> want perfect all the time, but that's what makes them pros. It's really they're really fun to watch. What in uh, the heck? What? Whoa. <laughs> Didn't see that's that. one of the, that's so, one of those shots that when they oh, throw it. Oh, I remember it. where he ends. Mm -hmm. He ends almost pin high, I want to say. Yeah, so a little this short. is the belly I was talking about. There's some 
guardian trees. Charlie told me about this forehand after he threw it and said it was pure. It was one of his best forehands he's had in a while. He's pretty proud of it. It was a great shot. Flex. Rick just fighting. This is a four. Right. This is a four. Yeah. The heat, the the gap that Ricky hit there was really tight. I remember that also. It's yeah, a that's... tough four. It's not that far, but it's just the way it snakes. Yeah, Simon going over the top there is definitely rewarded. Um, that is a much easier that's... approach shot than yeah. than what you're gonna get on the skip. Definitely not out Two of Rick's time range. World champ. Whoa. Running it as always. Yeah, this is where that crazy sky hyzer landed. He didn't have too much, but uh, it was a good out. I've never seen that shot either. Yeah, that's that's again one of those ones that you see it and you didn't really realize that that's an option, but it is when you have <laughs> a massive arm. Right. <laughs> a good out. I, what was that? A half lid? I couldn't tell if it was yeah, a half lid sure. or not. Just a little pitch out. Charlie. Starting to get, hopefully, that putt back. Rick's got something going on. <laughs> a little itchy leg. <laughs> the Briars are bad right now. That's probably what it was. Chris saving par? Sure. <laughs> we'll see, guys. We can't count. <laughs> Rick's putts are just yeah, everyone, they scare why are they me. sketchy every time <laughs> every time I'm kind of like oh man they hit so flat and everyone's hitting the pole so we've got Simon with the three Charlie with the oh, three so Simon took over they were tied Chris and Lazat going into that yeah so as the chase card here um, I think we had uh, Simon was definitely chasing uh, Paul. chasing Paul he was like two strokes down most of the day um I believe James Conrad was going off, too. Yeah. Man, he's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, he was fun to watch also. Um, Simon Simon was playing pretty well that day. This is a uh, par three. It is tight. It, oh, it's pretty open off the tee, but you can just see the guardian trees. It's jail. Lots of rollers. Cause yeah, it's just probability. You'll, I mean, I can't throw these rollers. They make this hole look pretty easy to just get there. Yeah, there still weren't... I don't think there no, were a ton of twos, though. But I've forward um, that hole so many times just trying to get into there. Their roller game is just... Yeah, it's that so was, fun to watch. That was one of the big takeaways from the weekend. Uh -huh. Learn how to roll. Yeah, learn to throw a roller because they threw them a lot. He's going to put another one down, too. We're going to get four for four rollers? Get off that. <laughs> They're all left. Oh, it's, it's rolling. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Rick getting a little wild oh, on the he kinda, He got a little bush love there, yeah. though. He kind of kicked <laughs> off. Because that bush, will, it, it sucks being in that thing. I think he's going to try and run this. Oh, no. Nah. Half go. Yeah. Half go. If you run it, it's dangerous. It's a downhill green. Downhill with Eesh. some some brush behind mm -hmm. it. A little Anheuser. That's pretty. That's a shot I want. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> shot. They're just playing that little skip, Simon. This is a tricky look, right? Yeah. Kind of. Looks uh, like he's just playing yeah. out and safe. That's yep. smart. That green's too tricky. It doesn't... It looks steep, but it's... Every putt, man. <laughs> every putt, <laughs> it's like... Rick, I don't know how you do it, man. The nerves. <laughs> the nerve, every time you look at your putt, man, it's, it's... It wants to spit out. So, so all threes here. Yeah. All Star threes, park. and I think that's pretty much how it was playing most of the weekend. Really tough, too. Next hole... So, hole 10. This is another... It's a tough one. It's a par 4. Um, I, I'm i not sure how, how they were playing it this weekend. It's a it's a very interesting hole. You're going pretty straight. Um, 
four. It's like a right angle. Yeah. It's just yeah, you're straight going straight, and then left you've got and straight. Yeah, and then you're going straight up the hill. Uh, and I don't. There weren't any crazy. Uh, there wasn't any like crazy the lines corner. there. Yeah, you can see it. It's tight up top because it's a right angle. You can't make a disc do that. <laughs> They're playing their three. You just play an overstable disc, skip it yeah. up the hill. Um, I'm trying to think of. You don't want to saw it off. You don't want to go in there early. I've done it a thousand times. Um, those are both pretty good drives there. The second shot's the most important, in my opinion. This is the easier of the two shots. Yeah. Well, the three shots, if you want a bird. Skip. I mm. caught a little bit. Yeah, so that's going to be right before the corner there. That looks good. <clears throat> that looks like a good angle. There we go. That's that yeah, flip that's, skip you want. That's just about the perfect. That's that's where you want to be. If you get too deep, you've got those trees What's off. What's he doing? His corner is tight, and it's awkward to throw around, too. There's, it's kind of tight, and yeah, has a little bit caught. of a ceiling. He that's not bad. Early. Get your four. It's uphill. I don't. Did he throw over? Yeah, he was going over the top there. Did he catch? Oh, so he faded out to the left. Did he yeah. pin high? Uh, I think he was. He ended up a little bit short of the basket, um, and off to the left. Oh, that's the gap you want to hit. Wow, he pured it. Nice shot. Mm. <sighs> that's a tough shot. I mean. You can see it's like a double, it's like a triple Mando. You have to get it through that little gap, low ceiling. <laughs> nice. That's a nice shot, too. If you have a forehand, it's a little more open to the left. Just hook one right in. Chris for his three. And a little bit of stuff. And. Oh. oh. I Man, I was. Yeah. I thought it was in. I thought it was in. <laughs> uh, a little uphill. Looks like he's just outside the circle here. To save his, his power here. Lights out. He's hitting it. And. Ooh, Dude. yep. <laughs> Great putting from him this weekend. And Simon is next up. That was a good shot. Yeah. I've never seen that. Those trees are pretty tall up there, too, so you have to have an arm to just, just sky highs or that. Uh, whew. Yeah. And bad good side of there, the basket. Yeah. One good in. three there. Oh, basket <clears throat> love. That was a good three. Oh, deep. Great putt there. Ooh. And the save, the, the <laughs> core strength to not go forward. Okay. Yeah, he said he was Good working three. his core all week. He knew that, <laughs> that putt was going to come up. Uh, fake news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone but Chris got the bird. Not, that's not bad on Chris's part. I mean, he didn't get off the tee quite as well. He scrambled for a four. Next hole. Hole 11. Par three. Lots of rollers. Uh, yeah, I saw a lot of mixed shots here. There were some air shots, some rollers. Um, it's in that C pin, so it's way up the hill. Yeah, you can I, see it to I, the left. Yeah, off to the left there. I don't know if there were a lot of twos when it was in this position. Uh, day one. You either were playing this skip shot. Oh, I caught trees early. It's so tight. Yeah. It is such a tricky hole. Day one, it was uh, the baskets were in in the shorter positions, and I think they saw a lot more twos uh, there. If I remember um, correctly, this thing's unreal. Yep. Oh, but it fizzled out. Yep. Stay. That's crazy, though, to get pin <laughs> high. <laughs> oh, I want to throw rollers. <laughs> get up there. And Rick's going to be in about the same spot. Dude, that's such an... It's a, it's a good shot. It's... It's tough to get up there. Chris Light. He's yep, rolling. He's rolling also. Ooh. He caught. 
I remember seeing that. And I kind of wonder. Yeah, there's what that little. You can see that out of bounds. It's just a little, almost like a little ditch, and yeah. it looks like he laid it down too early, um, and just caught that. Obviously, that's not what he was planning on doing. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Great shot. Yeah, great recovery there. That's tight. Another tight gap. I always like this this fairway. It's like a ball golf fairway. Like the way the trees are set up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really pretty pretty hole. Let's get off that. Ooh. Oh, I'm sure that was not the line he was going for, but it worked. (laughs) It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. (laughs) He'll take it, though. On Rick, bury it. Little gallery. Oh, uh, did he catch him? I, I think. think yeah, I see a little chain, chain wobble. There. Good putt. And what do we have, Charlie yeah, over here for his two? Very similar putt. I think he has a hyzer putt though, so that far putt, but it's challenging. Oh, mm. custom cage. More metal. <laughs> oh, no one toot it. No one to it. That's a tough one. Yeah, pretty decent gallery up top there. They were, I think most of them were following the, what would that be? The chasers, chase guard. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Yeah. The the chase and the chase card. Yeah, chase and the chase. Um, There were a lot of people out, especially this final day. Yeah. Um, There were a ton of people following chase card there were a ton of people following lead card it was it was awesome to see especially uh it's it's good to see the sport growing around here um now this is Mm. an interesting hole um it starts off pretty open and then it gets pretty thick um when i was talking about jail earlier this is actually jail yeah you you can see you don't want to hang something out that that goes straight for too far. It, it's got to get left so that you can get into the mouth of that uh, in, of the woods. But it gets and it slopes. Once you get in the woods, it slopes left to right. No, you just get that big flare skip. Yeah. Oh man, or that, two or three. Yeah, man. That is a, whoa. A, just about exactly where you want to be. Oh. Charlie looks like he got a good pull. Not bad, not bad. You want to be a little bit closer to where Simon's at. It's a little tighter over there. The trees are a little bigger. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, he no. it off. You don't want to be there. So we also saw a couple rollers on this. Uh, what? Not on our card. I remember the the lead card. It was that's stable. Wow, he ripped it. I don't know what that is, but it's stable. We need to review it. <laughs> okay. You mean the second shot roller? <laughs> no. Off the tee. Off the tee. I because we almost Wait. got hit by one. <laughs> <laughs> Great out by Ricky. <laughs> But yes, that is true. We almost got hit with a disc. I'm sure if you check out some of the some, I think, Jomez. yeah, I think Jomez was covering lead what card. What the heck was that? That was <laughs> an Im- <laughs> that was a great no. shot. Another good one from Chris. So this is a great spot to be for your the forehand for your second though. Shot. That's the only thing I was thinking about because it's fading away from the the slope. He freaking pured it, too. Mm. That's the only thing is it fading down the hill. Yeah, and when it's fading down there with with that ground, you get a lot of skips. Whoa, Ricky with a weird stance. Oh, oh. Quiet on set. <laughs> Go ahead. Man, with the awkward stance, he still somehow hits his line. Turns it over a bit, but just a that's a good shot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Charlie hooking it up. And that hitting might the gap. Get a... Dang. This hole's way harder. <laughs> like I'm hearing five shots. It, they're making it look easy. Ricky, is this for three? 
Yeah, it is because of no, no, no. No, he had his out. Yeah, he had the roller out. Good run. Almost birdie it from where his tee shot was. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) (laughs) And oh, Um, that's a tough one. And this is Simon. That's that. Oh no, it's Charlie. Oh, how's your putt? Ooh. Good run. Tough angle. Yeah. Yeah, with that lie, I'm sure That's he's That's that happy. skip I was saying with the forehand. He's not too far, though. It's not too bad. It's uphill. The, the flare skip can... Oh. Mm. Ooh. Get some zest on it. Uphill putt, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, not a, not a lot of... Uh... Not a lot of risk there. Any birds? I don't think so. That putt didn't sketch me out. That one <laughs> look. That one, <laughs> I had no chance of coming out. I don't think there were any birds on this one. On this card, at least. Hmm. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Yeah. Though. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. I, th- I figured there would be at least one. It is tight though. You get one bad kick, you're you're struggling to get back on the fairway because the fairway itself isn't that tight even <laughs> yeah. when you're on the fairway. So the rough isn't great. Uh, whoa, we were wrong. Wow. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, Ouch. so our counting, you can tell, is spot on. Why Saki is the only one that uh, didn't birdie? That's a good hole. It's a great, some good fours getting off the, the fairway. Yeah, 13. This one is tight. Um, and even if you cure it, there, I think I saw a couple birdies, but I, I don't think... If you can think... throw 300 feet straight and have the disc turn at the end, <laughs> after 300 feet, you can throw this hole. <laughs> it is tough. 300 feet straight with a little bit of turn at the end. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty tough shot. It's fun to watch, though. When you pure, <laughs> pure one of these, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Simon caught that early tree. <clears throat> it's going to be tough. That, that'll that make this a... He'll be scrambling for that par. And that looks... Flip. I can't see it. That's it. Kind of pure? Oh. Question mark? Pretty pure? Wow. <laughs> That's a good shot. Forehand's also the... Uh, oh, that was... That was... Almost it. <laughs> yeah, you can see there. That's that's not where you want to be for your second shot. Mm, and he caught another tree. Whoa. Whoa. Good. With, good late tree good, there. Good. Good. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Or no. Bad. Bad. Good yeah. tree. Good layout. <laughs> Every shot on this this hole, I'm nervous to hit a tree. There's like no opening at all. Just taking a three is is a good thing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's gonna nice run lay. it. <laughs> just a nice layout there. This is for par for Rick. Mm, and it's up and mm. uh, just off the top. Yeah, I'm sure he's not happy that that was what he had for his par putt. Another one I'd like to see the birdie ratio because it's mm-hmm. even when you pure it, you could still be thirty feet out. Like that's Chris pured it. He's got. Looks like he might have that tree in his way. This is <laughs> this is this will be a tough one for him. Oh, what the? Ugh. I think that should be a redo. <laughs> if I was on the card, I'd redo it. <laughs> that's not right. That's a tough one. No twos. Uh, Simon? No. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I guess we should probably yeah, we start should to... Doing that, we'll, huh? just, <laughs> we'll just wait for the scores because we are <laughs> bad. We're just in awe of the play. It's great play. <laughs> it's a good excuse. Charlie cleaning it up. Oh, I like that. A little hang loose. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Couple bogues Lizotte's there. still up by one with the bogue. 
hole 14, par 4. Uh, I believe it's in that B pin, actually. Tough. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so you've got those two big gaps. Uh, a lot of rollers on this one, and then once you get get down into here, it gets really tight. Uh, yeah, and today it wasn't that that far B mm. pin. Um, I like that pin though. Looks yeah. pretty good on camera. Charlie with the roller, and got a uh, great pull through. on Ooh, it. Whoa. Watch out, oh, cameraman! Oh, <laughs> watch out, and people! Yeah, that looks. That's like a great it, shot. Yeah, yeah, even with hitting the, the old ramp. He rolled this a lot. That's like that's a bunch of times I've seen him with that bright green disc in his. Oh, that looked good. Oh, that looks good. Oh what? my! <laughs> yeah, he got that's down great. there pretty far. Yeah, that's a great shot. And there is that oh, FD from Simon boy. again. If that stands up and stays clean. Just be clean. Oh. Oh, oh. oh man. <laughs> That nice is still shot. a great <laughs> shot, but if it didn't catch that last tree. That's exactly, that angle is perfect. You want to almost cut roll straight and then straighten out and like a full turn, yeah. essentially. Full roller flight, if that makes any sense. Oh, good Skip? Mm, no, uh, not got that tree. It yeah. should be it's a, right around the edge of the circle. Stick. Get up. Get your easy, easy three. Yep. Probably one of the easiest threes I've seen. Oh, Simon giving it a run, maybe? What? Wow, mm. That disc just kept turning mm. from the little bit that he put on it. Good little, good run. Good out. Dude, these shots are crazy. Yeah. Even that, just that short. Ooh, check out that bark. That was cool. I, I like that. Go ahead, Disc Golf Examiner. I like it. Oh, faked him out. I'm not mad at the bark, though. Yeah. What is he, 40? Mm, oh, no, yeah, 30. Is, yeah. That was a weird miss. It looked like it was in yeah. and out and skipped out. It didn't look clean out of his hand. Mm -mm. He had one of those early, too, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Ricky and everyone cleaning up their... I'm not telling you a score because I don't know it. I'll tell you, Ricky just got a three there. You have a big Chris? Uh, you know, we'll... Uh, I think time he will did because he had a ridiculous roller off the tee. Yeah. On to Majestic. So, Charlie there is the only one with the four. Um, a lot of great tee shots. Tell now, me what this hole's about, man. We're moving to hole 15. You've probably seen this before. Um, if you watch any uh, any disc golf tournaments, actually, because it was part of the PDGA. <laughs> That's, so. true. That's true. Um, it is beautiful. So, it's a pretty one. You've got the lake in the background. Um and it is it's a beautiful hole it is uh, most i of them, smile just watching that drone yeah. footage it's great <laughs> most of them are just throwing uh just a nice safe shot to get right to the edge of the hill uh, and then having a, a nice look yeah down. it's more of a placement shot it's probably i mean still 400 feet oh yeah it's still every bit of four yeah. anything yeah unless you're simon um and Looks like he's going to try and throw something big. We got a little Woodward action in the background there. <laughs> did a really good job at keeping the crowds at bay. Yeah, he did. I saw him spotting a few times. Okay. So that's how you do it if you're Simon. Um, he actually caught some late trees there. There is OB down there, um, and he, he was, was just on the edge. Yeah, he, he was, was not OB. That was a really, really fun shot to watch. Even yeah. these big hyzers for someone who doesn't watch, like, see this in person all the time, it's incredible to see. If you're, if you have a tournament around you with pros coming, go. Yes, it's so fun to watch. But other, I mean, this is if you're not doing the Simon route, it seemed like everyone just did this, and yeah. it was pretty easy for them. 
Their second shot was important. Yeah, the sec the first shot is definitely more about placement, and then that the second shot is the important shot. So he crested the hill, and Charlie did. So you can catch a roll, good or bad. Sometimes behind a tree. Yeah. So this was a weird one. Usually that you get more left, you can just do a hyzer. He had to actually and hyzer and work a disc. That was a great shot. That's a tough one to be really accurate with and. Get it in the green. Yeah, Rick got down a little further that's, on the hill. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the typical shot, that hyzer. With a whatever, harp, midi. He should be inside the circle there, probably mm-hmm. 20, 25 footer. Lots of wind can blow off this lake. I don't remember how bad it was. It was pretty calm all weekend, actually. Whoa. It was pretty perfect weather, Where'd especially for late August. There it is. Wow, that fought. Mm-hmm. I think he grip locked it or something. It hung out wide. There's Simon. Yeah, yeah and he did... Wow, I didn't see actually where it was. Yeah, we weren't down there. He, oh, good <laughs> Go coverage ahead. there. <laughs> so he was inbounds. I think he wishes it was maybe a little cleaner on the other side of the rope, maybe closer to the basket. But yeah, I guess um, one of the other I, I think Saturday actually. James Conrad. Well, Saturday Simon crushed one. He actually he got it to go clean over the top. And had a, uh, he wa- yeah, he was still, he was like 100 out, uh, at least from what I heard, but that's a crush. Oh, I thought that was in. Yeah, and James Conrad, like you said, he did um, on on Sunday during this final round, he did go over the top two, and he crushed it. <laughs> Chris, with a pretty, pretty far putt. And that putt is just to the left. Ooh, looks like, yeah. Oh, oh. what the heck? That was a weird kick. It was yeah, kind of left, left of the basket, though. Left chains. <laughs> Take a seat, wait for his putt. Another sketchy putt. <laughs> Just or, another sketchy rig putt. I can't continue with this. Really fun hole to watch these guys throw. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome hole. Especially when you get to see Simon. Whoa. Yeah. I like that tap in for Charlie there. Hmm. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So Rick with the only three there. And now for another tough one. Par five, hole it's number weird shape 16. Of a hole. <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got uh, a tight, tight couple gaps, if you want to call them gaps, to get up that hill, and then it doesn't get much wider when you get up there uh it is tight and we saw a lot of rollers didn't katrina two or three this uh three it. yeah she threed it on the first day and actually when we were there saturday um jeff bennett we saw him three it also right oh gee off i yeah y- yeah <laughs> so two rollers are, I think the rollers that play I'm, have yeah. you seen any air shots um mm. no no that's his he puts up Ooh. get up there it looks like he did you just want to crash the hill yeah yeah if you Honestly. can get to the top of the hill you'll have another roller yeah, this was one where we saw a lot of roller, roller, and then whatever, whatever you needed for that third shot. But a lot of uh, when you get up there, the fairway's so tight that even a roller will end up peeling back into the the rough. Yeah, it's tough. Oh, I rhymed. Ricky with the old patent pending shot. Oh. I didn't see that. Where did it end up? I'm not sure. I forget where he landed. Oh, that wasn't good. 
<laughs> as you can tell, it's air it's shots tight. are prohibited. You might as well roll the whole time. That is a great drive. Uh, this is Simon's drive. Yeah. Um, huh. Did he go deep? That's a that's a good shot. Yeah, that you can see it opens up a little bit oh, off to that right side. Guy. Did he hit it? Oh, um, one last tree to beat. The caps are so tiny. I just sit. There's also a very steep green right behind the basket. Yeah. Yeah, I'm it, hoping they show it because it's seriously steep. It, and it, it's sketchy. It leaves any putt coming down at that basket is very, actually, very I think Chris sketchy. Chris has to take a putt from it. I think that he mm -hmm. catches a roll down there. Yeah. I might be lying. I might be. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, just the nice He's layup. He's just looking for the layup. Yep. I knew that was coming. So this is for three for yeah. Simon. Yeah, there's a big eagle. Come on, hit it. Mm. He's not happy about that one. Yeah, you can see that drop off down there. Um, it's off to the left really behind steep. the basket. I lied about Chris. <laughs> mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Simon, easy bird. Yeah, there were definitely a few threes on this uh, over the weekend. Up. She, I just heard, I just read she shot a thousand rated golf too, so that's that's some crazy golf, man. We watched them over the weekend; they were super fun to watch. Yeah, they crush. Two fours, three fours, ooh, three fours and a five. On to hole seventeen. Um, simple, this is, yeah, kind of a, a flick. short. Maybe. It's kind of a tight gap. <laughs> it's kind of a tight gap off the tee. Um, but the 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 pin's kind of protected. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure how many twos there were on this hole. I don't think It's a poke and hope in my opinion. Like it's the the line is there but it's so tight. You're just hoping to get there or through those those guardian trees. Yeah. Simon with the forehand. Is that Nico tight? Yeah, so did it looked like Rick did, did too. Rick? Yeah. Maybe there is a line that they're trying to hit. I... Roller. Roller. Let's see this. Ooh. Oh, he mm -hmm. caught something. Yeah. Not bad, though. No, it's interesting to see a roller there. Yeah. And yeah, it's a it's cool when wow he hung that tight. Yeah, it's a cool hole when you can see. I mean, they all took different lines uh -huh. there. Two, two of them took that inside gap. Um, you got the roller. You've got that Annie to the outside gap. It's always interesting when you can see all those different the different. That's a good hole. That they're at. It's a yeah. good hole if you can get approach it a multiple ways. So I'm with these. I saw these in person. Those swirly daggers. They're sweet. Mm. He was all over it, all day, all weekend. Yeah, he was hitting metal. Good two there. Yeah, that's good, a good two for Simon. I think at this point, it's sealed. Yeah, this, right? yeah. This was Paul was up three or four at that point. Um. And I, th I'm not sure. Simon was close to second, maybe tied for second. Him and uh, he tied. Yeah. So him and James. James, they were battling it out for second. Doing some cleanup work here. On to the. <laughs> <laughs> Still smiling though, even though he took second. That goes to show you what kind of person he is. On to the final hole, par four. Um, I know there was a little bit of controversy with this, the late OB you can see on that sign in the uh, white back by the uh, by the pins, by B and C pin. Um, 
Because it's stroke and distance. Yeah, so if I guess if they went for it on their drive, um, you're going to go all the way back. If you went out of, out of bounds in those deep spots, you go all the way back to the drop zone, um, which is right before that first OB, which I know a lot of them were not, not thrilled about, but I'm uh, not sure if it matters for Simon because he crushes. Just... And uh, an incredible shot. I mean, it's tight. <laughs> yeah. And he gets the uh, we were right behind him as he threw that shot. It was such a great view. He Essentially, did, a view you just saw. Yeah. He did the same thing the day before. Mm -hmm. He ended up, actually, it was a little closer. He ended up with like Foot. a 15 footer. Rick getting over that first. Yeah. That's, that's a great shot. Yeah. That's still a great, great oh, shot. Yeah. yeah. These golds are backed up way further. We usually play the tee pad in front of them. Oh, oh. good tree there. I th was it good? Good to be an OB? I don't what think he was OB. Man? Hater? <laughs> <laughs> Disc golf drum. <laughs> so this is Charlie with a really nice drive. It. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice Flexing shot. Flexing one out. Yeah, he was not OB, um, and that tree saved him from going deep into the woods. Oh. So uh, I'd say oh, that was a good he tree. Did just trickle right in? That oh, one was the... OB. Um, so he'll have to he'll have to play that one wherever it went in. Good run by Rick. Man, that sucks. That he went OB. Good touchy Ooh. approach. Yeah, nice touch shot there. See if he can put it in. He's got it. He made these. He's got a great off. pump yeah. fake. I he like it. Faking <laughs> out not once but twice there. And oh, bummer. Simon with a two. Ooh. Great way to end it. Yeah, that's. I think that awesome. put him two back from Paul. Yeah, actually. Which made it sort of interesting because there is OB on this hole. And Paul's right behind him. For at least the audience, it was kind of it made it exciting. Yeah. Great round. Charlie cleaning it up. And he puts it in. What do we end with? Okay. <laughs> Simon with the two. A couple threes there. Really um, good that's, threes. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, so it looks like, pretty sure you were right, Simon did end up tying for second there. Um, this was, that was an awesome, awesome round. Uh, and we, like we said, we followed that while we were there. Um, we were kind of bouncing back and forth between that and lead card. So it was a lot of fun seeing it in person. And it was great doing this uh, yeah, commentary you, for Golf Disc Golf Examiner. Examiner. The coverage was awesome, digging the, uh, the second camera on there. Um, great coverage check us out um like we said disc I'm, reviews vlogs you yeah know. comparisons we do vlogs we're not doing any tournament coverage because we've got some other local guys like disc golf examiner and they're doing a heck of a job so hope you liked it yep thanks like again brian like us uh, i think he's putting our link down below so check us out home slice disc golf i'm brad that's travis Woo! <laughs> See you next time.